so hello welcome today we are going to look on a topic called k means clustering k means clustering right so what basically clustering algorithms are uh, before we move to k means let us have a brief intro about uh, clustering and uh, something like uh, unsupervised learning so there are in machine learning uh, we must first know that ml can be classified into various aspects uh, one of the basic most basic things are like supervised and unsupervised ml right so supervised ml is what we have been doing till now uh, like uh, we have linear regression decision trees uh, naive bias etc an unsupervised learning is like clustering this is what we are going to learn and uh, there are also some examples uh, but let's not get deeper into that just understand what supervised and what unsupervised is first let us look about what supervised learning is supervised learning so what generally happens is this is our model for training what we do we take some data okay and basically data inputs and also we feed it with that uh, to our with our output so what we get a program or a model is we basically give it to our computer we generate our program or model so look at here what special here is we are giving input with output okay we are not just uh, randomly saying to our computer that okay just take this data this chunk of data and do something with it no we are particularly defining that for certain input the output will be this for certain input the output will be this so this is what we are doing in the supervised learning that means we are supervising our computer we are this is our computer and we are supervising hey look this when you give this thing you'll get this thing okay that's defined and after that th that's the process of called training and after that we can do testing okay so training process is like this in supervised learning but now what happens in case of unsupervised learning unsupervised learning here we have our computer computer we just give data and some maybe some parameter let's say that what what we want to perform we don't give input and output both no we are just giving input and saying our computer to whether group or classify the, the these inputs so let me give you a live example what unsupervised learning is let's say you have a huge picture data set okay and in this picture data set you have what you have dogs you have cats and cows and so many animals and this is your computer okay here you give your data that basically these images and you want to classify these uh, this images on their own without providing any labels to it what do you mean by labels if it were a unsupervised uh, supervised learning problem what we have let's say this is a dog image and here we are labeling it as dog so we, we are doing what we are having input with label so this will train our model this will train our computer to generate a program so what we are having input with label so, so so that the computer can understand that okay this thing is that so if next time something like this comes then i have to call it a dog okay 
this is a case of supervised but in case of unsupervised we just have our computer here and we just gave an image now it's up to computer to call it what it can call it class 0 it can call it a b whatever okay and it will make a class of it and if a similar image comes now if next time we give some input and if some similar image come then it will put it into this class otherwise it will create a new class so look here we are just giving input labels or outputs are missing for training so this thing have to be done for uh, in unsupervised learning so uh, the question might come to your mind that why it is needed why it is required okay so the thing is for example you have very huge data set because it's very easy to collect images very easy to collect images you can collect it let's say 1 million image you have to collect you have collected let's say okay but the problem is here you have to manually you have to manually say okay this is a dog this is a cat so this becomes very cumbersome and time consuming so what we want okay we don't want the exact name but we just want key, uh, key what happened that if we provide some input to our model then it should uh, tell that whether this belongs to certain class or other class okay so that's what we want with clustering clustering is mean making clusters of images so if a image of this category comes it will go to here okay if a image will this green category come it will go here but now let's say we have another image which doesn't belong to either of these clusters make means its features are not matching to any of these what will this model do this will make another cluster if required either it will try to map it to the most similar of green or red according to the what have been trained so this is what basically unsupervised learning is so i hope you have got the pretty much idea about unsupervised learning in nutshell if we just write down supervised and unsupervised what we have here input and labels here we have only inputs if someone asks you then you can just simply tell us okay i hope that is uh, for the, this part now let's just uh, before we end this video let's just have a brief intro about what is k means k means clustering so what about k means is that in case of k means it's is similar to k k nearest you have already learned this i think k nearest so in k nearest what we were doing we have certain data inputs okay let's say this is one class and this is uh, another class so now if we have another data let's say new data point so according to the k nearest neighbor we will map this so k in that case what the nearest neighbor was so we were just calculating a distance same kind of intuition a bit of same that we are using something like distance over here in k means clustering also so that's why i uh, introduced you to k nearest because uh, it, it's pretty much related in terms of naming and uh, the distance thing but don't conf confuse with it that it is uh, these are same this is a supervised learning model and this is unsupervised learning model here we have what we have in initially we have some point and we have label associated with it okay whether this belongs to black class blue class uh, red class white class whatever okay but here we don't have any such kind of thing here let me uh, tell you about the name why it is named so so the name is k means clustering 
so i will dissect each word one one by one clustering means we have to make clusters as the name suggests so we have inputs we have multiple inputs and we'll try to group them off this is what clustering depending upon the matching features means uh, let let us go with this word k is the k is the number of clusters will be forming number of clusters forming so let's say here you have a wide range of inputs and outputs input basically so you will be forming let's say k equals to 3 so you will be forming three cluster i'll also give you an example of what this will be in means is what uh, it's just a name uh, that signifies that uh, in the process when when we start learning k means clustering in practical you will know that uh, there is a thing called centroid and this will be calculated by calculating mean of all the points of the all the points in cluster right so this was a bit introduction about uh, the k means clustering now uh, in the next we'll be learning exactly what is k means clustering so hope um, that's it for this video thank you